Good morning students, Saira, welcome back to the computer session. So in this session we will start a new lesson that is surfing net. Before that what is internet? So internet is one of the best technologies gifted to mankind. It has brought the entire world at our fingertips. So internet stands for international network. So, internet is a worldwide collection of computers that are used to share information, right? So, these computers, all the computers are connected to each other through telephone wires, modem, satellite links, right? Or other means enabling them to share the information, right? So, let us learn for what is webs here home page right so the term uh, home page also refers to one or more pages okay always shown in the web browser when the application starts up right so it is also known as a start page or startup page that means each website has a main page so when you visit any site okay the first page that opens is called home page right this means you can see any site the different different google site hotmail.com right so these are the different different yahoo so these are the different sites when you visit that site okay though you can open the site so that you can see the first page so that is known as home page so each website has a main page so that is the main page is known as a when you visit when you visit any site okay the first page that opens is called home page okay so not now what is www so www stands for world wide web so which is also known as a web okay is a collection of websites or you can say web pages the collection of web sites or web pages so www is nothing but it is a collection of websites okay in this websites you can see the collection of web pages stored in the web server and connected to local okay computers so www is a collection of pages stored on the internet so these pages contain may, may contains text graphics audio audio links right and to the other pages and can be accessed by people all over the world isn't it so that is www now what, what do you mean by int ISP? The ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. Okay. So, Internet Service Provider. So, when you want to start internet. Okay. So, you, you have to take a service from provider. Right. So, that is Internet Service Provider. It is a company that gives you access to the internet. Okay for a fee you have to pay the monthly faces right or yearly faces so that people are giving what so there are the isp that is the internet service provider okay so the browser will not be able to display pages unless the computer is connected to the and uh, connected to an isp so isp isp stands for internet service provider so when you want to start a internet so you should have what you should take the connection from internet service provider right so you can say bsnl cfi airtel reliance these are all what internet service provider yes children let us see now history of internet in 1969 the us De defense department set an advanced research project agency for further research so that is known as ARPANET. So ARPANET means Advanced Research Project Agency Network. So they, they designed a network with the help of four computers. So what is the purpose? To exchange and share their data. So this network was called ARPANET. So later many universities were allowed to join the network and share this information. So this was the beginning of networking of computers which grew bigger day by day 
and gave birth to the internet. So, gradually the network was made accessible to private agencies and general public. People started using it for sending messages and files sharing the files between the computers. So, but most interesting thing about the internet is that no single agency controls or maintains the internet. But in, in India, the internet service started on 15th August 1995. Okay. So, though that time the government owned company is VSNL. So, now private internet service providers like Airtel, SIFI, Tata, Reliance, so these are all private internet service provider, right, okay. So, now let us see, yes children, so now let us learn what is internet, what does internet provide and using internet explorer, okay. So, before that, okay, yes. Now, okay, now you can see the internet. So, in, with the help of internet, we can send a email, we can chat, we can do a video conferencing, you can search the information, you can put the forum and you can create a blogs, you can do a e-commerce, you can do, you can so see entertain, for entertainment purpose also we can use internet, right. Now, let us learn a one by one. So, what does internet provide? So, the first of all, so internet provides here news and information. So, internet provides a facility to read different newspapers, right? Newspaper in online and gets a information regarding various topics on your internet. Such you can say politics, you can say sports, you can say education, any, any Per side, you can say any news, okay, with the help of internet, you can read any news. Now, next, art and entertainment. So, internet allows us to download the, download and purchase the various softwares for art and enter, entertainment. You can play a games, you can purchase a new games, you can play a songs, you can see a movie, you can do the puzzles, you can make, you can see, read the jokes, right, and stories, right, everything. So, art and, inter, in, art and entertainment. Now, you can do on one thing, online shopping, right. Next thing is online shopping. So, online shopping means what? You can purchase a various items, okay, like clothes, gift items, or you can say books, right, from different e-shops. Okay, around the world without actually going there, right? With the help of online shopping, you can shop anything, right? So, what are the online shopping? You can say Amazon, Flipkart, right? Mintra. So, these are all online shopping. And next one is mailing letters. Email, the most popular features of internet. So, email allows you to send receive send messages receive messages so you can also attach pictures you can also attach greeting cards you can also attach sounds video right video sounds to your email i email and send it to anyone right and next health and fitness so you can search health and fit, fitness information right along with you can search the remedies also and her precautions for a different diseases, right. So, you can search for the regarding health and fitness, you can search health and fitness information along with remedies and precautions for different diseases, right. Now, next tourism that is tourism and travel. So, internet provides the facility for online booking, the online booking of hotels and railway tickets, right, flight tickets, right. So, over the world, around the clock. So, any time you can book the ticket with the help of internet. So, that is tourism and travel. Now, next we will see chatting. So, chatting means this features. The chatting features allows us to exchange text message with any other, another person on the internet. 
So, all of you know this, the chatting feature allows us to exchange text messages with another person on the internet, right. Now, not next, banking, right. So, the banking, so all of you know bank, banking, all banking operations, right, can be done right from your home using e-banking services, right. With the help of e-banking, you can, with the help, yes, you can sit at home and you can do the electronic banking. So, it is a way of performing bank transactions using internet. So, using e-banking, one can check the amount, right, make a fixed deposit, transfer the money, apply, apply for a loans, right. So, these transactions can be done from any part of the world if you have an internet connection on your computer, right. Okay, next one we will see now. Okay, now video conferencing, right. So, all of you know this video conferencing, what is video conferencing? So, through video conferencing, you can communicate with the other person visually, okay. To do video conferencing, both the person need to have a web camera. So, you can arrange the meeting, right. So, seminars, right, you can with the help of video conferencing. Yes, children. Yes, next one, e-commerce. So, e-commerce also called electronic commerce or internet commerce. So, is the buying and selling of products or service over the internet. So, e-commerce is a commercial transaction which is happened over the internet, right. Online, like on, online stores are Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, OLX, right, Quicker. So, these are all examples of e-commerce website, right. So, e-commerce stands for electronic commerce. So, that is you can do, that is commercial activities over the internet, right. So, now next, which one? Social networking sites, right. The social networking is a grouping of individual into specific groups who for example, share, you can share the ideas, activities, events, interesting photos, right, message, video, right. The social networking website functions like an online community of internet users, right. So, in social networking websites, every user has a profile which contains information about them, right. A user can also invite other people or join these websites, right. What are the um, uh, social networking websites? Facebook, Orkut, right. So, can you see Twitter? These are all what? Social networking sites. Let's see. Yes, children. Now, we will learn uh, the next one, Internet Explorer, okay. So, what is that Internet Explorer? First of all, let us learn the browser, okay. The so browser means that is a software that allows you to view and explore information on the internet is called a web browser. Suppose children you want to do a paint, so you will use a paint software. Suppose you want to type, a, you want to create a PPT presentation, so you will use a PowerPoint, right. You want to type a letter, you will use a Microsoft Word. The same thing, you want to browse the web pages on the internet, you need a browser, okay. So, the browser is what? That is software that allows you to view and explore information on the internet. It is called web browser. So, can you see? These are the different web browsers. So, Microsoft, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Opera, Apple Safari, Mozilla Firefox, these are all internet explore sorry these are all web browser okay if you want to surf on the net you need a browser okay so you can download uh, mozilla firefox or google or internet explorer or apple safari or opera now let us learn what is internet explorer okay 
So Internet Explorer is also one of the most popular and widely used web browser. It is developed by Microsoft. But nowadays we are using a Google, right? Apple Safari. So we are using that. But Internet Explorer is also what web browser. It is developed by Microsoft. So you can open it by double click on that. So can you see the icon, the Internet Explorer icon? So it is the E. That is Microsoft Internet Explorer. You can open the Internet Explorer by double clicking okay, its icon in the desktop or you can say start all programs and you can select a Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay. So, when you start a Internet Explorer, can you see the Explorer browser? Okay. Now, can you see the menu bar? It is there. File, edit, view, favorites. These are all menus, menus right? And down you can say back button and the forward, stop, refresh and home. What is the use of a back button? So, the back, it takes you to the previous page, right? When you are using, you are surfing on the internet, you are connected to so many different, different websites, right? So, you want to go to the back, you want to go to the previous page. So, you will use a back button. So, it takes you to the previous page. Click on the back button on the toolbar until you reach the desired page. Suppose you are in the next 10th page, you want to go back to the first page. So, you are go on click the black back button on the toolbar. Now, next one you can see forward. To view the next pages in serial order, so click the forward button. So, clicking the forward button will take you to the page you just left when you clicked on the back button. Okay. So, it will move the forward okay, to view the page just you have to click on which one forward button. Now, next one stop. So, the stop button suppose you open the page when you want you, that page you want to stop it. Okay. So, immediately you want to stop that page. So, you can click on the stop button. Okay. So, so, this will stop the downloading of the pages. Suppose you are downloading the pages that time suppose if you click the stop button it will stop. Okay. Now, you can see the refresh button. So, refresh button, clicking on this page, the refresh button will reload, reload the most recent version of the current page. You can refresh button, you can make a refresh the page with the help of refresh button. Okay. Now, home button. So, home button, so you can, if you want to click the uh, home, uh, home button, so instantly it will take you to the first page of the website. Okay. That is the home of the web page. So, it will take you to the first page of the home website. Okay. Now, now we will learn. So, history. Can you see here history? Right. So, history here. Right. So, favorites, history and print. So, history. So, history when clicking this button will display the list of recently visited the website. Okay. Suppose you have visited the so different, different sites. You want to see the history of the, so whichever sites you have visited, just click on the history. So, you will get to know that the whichever sites you have visited. Then favorites, can you see this favorites, the favorites, refits and history is there. The favorites, this option allows the user to store, display and organize the most frequently used web, websites in the favorite list. You can put your uh, particular sites in the favorite list. So, it makes it makes it is easy for us to open them in the future. If you put it in the favorite uh, list, so it is easy to open. Okay. In the next time, suppose you want to go back to that particular page, you will just select the favorites and you will open your site. Okay. Now, the next one you can see the, the print. So, you can select the button from print and you can okay, print a copy of the web page you are viewing. Suppose you want to, you are viewing the web page, some information is there, you want to take the print out, just click on the print button and you can take the print. Yes children, yes children, in this lesson we have learned what is internet, what does internet provide. So, that is news and information, art and entertainment, online shop, shopping, 
mailing letters health and fit fitness tourism and travel e-commerce banking right and video conference conferencing and social network right and we have learned how to use what is the use of internet explorer and how to use internet explorer so we will stop this session sign up